Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a whip and chat, so grab whatever you're working on and work along with me. I am working on The People's Princess um, by Mandy Manzano from Diamond Art Club. I'm still working on this one. Um, I'm trying to think of why I haven't worked on it in like a week. Um, nope, that's not true. The last time I worked on it was Friday, I think. Uh, so that's not too bad. Today is Tuesday. Um, I worked on Saturday and Sunday overnight and I just kind of like edited a whole bunch of videos on Saturday and then on Sunday I tried to read but my <laughs> my day at work, well my night at work was absolutely insane. So <laughs> there would not have been much time to diamond paint anyway. Uh, so uh, let's discuss, let's talk. So this past week, oh, hold on. Let's, let's talk about these things first. So these two trays are from Bella Art Dana Cole. Uh, this is the, uh, I can't remember what they called it, like neon. And then it was Jedi green or something like that. And then this is my favorite of all favorite trays. I just, I love these two so much. Um, this is uh, galaxy silver. This is my prize from, um, DP addiction, DP addiction, addiction adventures. Jeez, I don't know why that's a tongue tie, but this is my uh, Archer's Art tray. This is my prize uh, for being Diamond Painter of the Month. Like what? I I can't. I still can't even believe that. Um, and then I have. Let's see, let's go over my pens. Uh, this is. I don't remember where the blank came from, but this is Enabler Outpost turned. These two are from Donna Bass. This one is. I couldn't even tell you. Um, I couldn't even tell you. Uh, some tips I have. These are my, did the sprinklers just come on? At like nine in the morning, 10 in the morning? I don't know. Anyways, this is from, this tip is from uh, Everlasting Tips and these two come from Weedbrook. And this one's just regular. I will be working with a four placer, a seven placer, and what's this one? An 11 placer. Those are the pens I'm working with. Those are the drills, uh, drill trays. Um, this is a Harbor Freight container. I want to try and do her hair. That's, I think that's my goal. Um, let me grab my little baggie again because I want to pull out some more trays. I like to work with a lot of drills at once. Um, but I, my trays towers from Bella Arte Nicole are currently covered. So I'm not even gonna try with that. Six should be good. Um, okay, so I'm gonna start with, oh, is there hair over there any? No, not really. Okay, so this is just the majority of it here. So we're gonna take E and X. Oh, before I forget, I have a little on bagging to do. Um, I didn't want to have this be its own video just because there's like four in there and then the last one if if I had thought about it I should have waited for both of them because I bought like five two times uh, but I didn't because I needed to bust into them to finish a painting um and then I gotta get up and get my scissors you're kidding oh, no I don't want to I'm just gonna see if I can open it this way and then I ended up finishing that painting with the wrong color drills just because I didn't want it open and unsealed if that makes any sense but we have a little tiny um, sparkling DP sparkler, DP with sparklers unboxing or unbagging here. I'm gonna take my, uh, I wanna take my receipt out just so my address is not on it. Um, got another little sticker. And here is their business card. And here is, there's a, thing for the winners okay so I should have three 5200 ABs those were to finish the painting I ended up just finishing it with 36 3865 so I just wanted to be done and then I needed to make uh, the ten dollar minimum so I grabbed these two I have never seen these two in AB before so I grabbed uh, 154 and 8 uh, 902 so those don't matter, but I use so much of them because I just basically, anytime there's 5200 or 3865, I just use those colors, so. So, and these are both square. I didn't find them in round, otherwise I would have gotten both. Um, but these are 154. So 154 is actually my 
favorite DMC coat. I don't know where I would use them uh, just because the depth is gone once the coating goes on top, but it looks so good. Um, so that was once again, 154. So you can see, you can kind of see that the depth is really gone with it. The depth of the color, I mean, but I think that just like 820, like if you sprinkle some of that in some AB 820 with regular 820, it looks really good. Um, and 902, once again, the depth of the color is gonna be gone, but these, just for sprinkling, I love a good AB. I like to sub AB so much. So here is 902. Once again, you can see the depth of the color is gone, but it is stunning, so. There's that. Okay, so that was my little sparkler haul. So that was 902, 154, and uh, I can I can show you a little bit of 5200. Uh, I know you've already seen this, but here is 5200. It is absolutely gorgeous. My AC is kicking in. Sorry for the noise, but you know, here's the thing. I had somebody comment and say that the background noise was annoying. Um, <laughs> I work a full-time job, uh, so I, okay, so, okay, I work a full-time job. When I have the opportunity to film, it's on my one and only day off. So basically what I end up doing then is filming all day long on my one day off. So there are some videos, like if it's a serious video, I'll turn it off, but like just a sit down whip and chat, I'm not going to turn it off. Like it's just... I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna sweat. Like I already sweated because I was filming a video right next to the AC because I had to film it on the floor. Uh, that video should be coming up sometime next week. Um, but I'm just not gonna. I'm not gonna do it. Like most of y'all don't care. I mean, and if you do care, I think the ones that do care probably are like, damn, I would hate to live in Florida and turn my AC off. It's a little noisy, but at least she's not dead. And like honestly, that's the vibe I'm going for. At least I'm not freaking dead. Okay. So there's that. Uh, I apologize for anyone that offends. Um, I'm like, the person wasn't really rude about it, but I get that comment like not too, too often. But when I do get it, it's just kind of like, I know it's annoying. It annoys me too, but I don't want to die. <laughs> um, eventually I'll have my own filming room and we'll have a uh, central AC. So it won't be like an AC unit for the whole building or the whole apartment all in one area. So. I'm like, you don't understand. If I turn the AC off <laughs> here, the rest of the house is going to be hot too. So it's not like it's just specifically like turning the AC off in one room. It would turn the AC off and no one wants me to die. So I won't die. You're welcome. I think I'm actually going to put these trays away and grab a couple more little ones from Bella Art Day Nicole just because a lot of the areas that I'm gonna be working with are smaller, like smaller amounts of colors. I will probably grab, actually, yeah, I'm gonna grab E back, I'm gonna, or I'm gonna grab the green, the gray back because there's a lot of E's in here. And then, so I will grab my trays. So I've got E here, X is in here, and then I just kind of set them off to the side. Um, this is my preferred method of working with a lot of colors. I know that I have tower tray organizers, but that's more for organization, honestly. Um, it just, for me, the time it would take to label and mark everything. I want to get some of that tape people are talking about. So maybe I will grab some of that at some point. But like, honestly, right now, I'm just trying to get through my life. I'm just trying to vibe, okay? It's been a wild week. It's been a wild couple weeks. Um... Like I said, I did work on Sunday overnight. Uh, Chris went live on Saturday. He might have had a few guest stars. If you didn't see that, check it out. It was tons of fun. Um, we also talked about potentially doing like a match, um, the matching game, you know, from the early, I don't even know what year it came out, but it was, it was a whole, like it was amazing. Okay. I loved, <laughs> loved, loved that uh, show. Um, I want to get plus sign. 
And I'm also, no, equal sign. Um, I'll grab bread for that. Oh, there's drills on there? What? Oh, that might be from uh, Beast. Did y'all know I finished the Beast? Because I did. I finished him. I'm getting ready. Oh, I have this one right here. I don't even need that one. I'm getting ready to film a... Um, listen, I have a whole freaking day ahead of me, dude. Plus, I'm trying to make like strides in my personal life. So I have so much stuff that I'm trying to do today. It's not even funny. So forgive me if this whip and chat is like 30 to 45 minutes instead of an hour. Also, I tried the Starbucks new funnel cake thing. It is amazing. I think that this is going to be a problem, especially since I'm trying to work out. Mm. So good. It doesn't even have a right to be that good. It's kind of this, the painting sponging up because I accidentally um, had something on it and it was pushing it up. Anyways, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Um, if I just put a book on top of it, it'll be fine. Um, I can't find a book. I could put a book box. Okay, we'll put that there. Put this here. This is a book. This is book of the month box. I do have not an affiliate code, but like a referral code, and I can leave that somewhere for you if you're interested in trying out book of the month. Um, okay, there. Everything's out of my way. Now I can actually diamond paint for the first time in days. Um, so for those of you who don't know, I started working out again. I got um, a couple ambassador things with a couple companies. So the first one that I have unboxed, I unboxed last week, it's called Wad Bottom and they are shorts and they give uh, money to, or they, they, they're like a, I don't know how to say it. It's basically they are trying to raise awareness and I believe they also give, um, and donate to um, domestic abuse situations because the owner, it's a very, 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 um, very, very important thing for her. So I am an ambassador for Wad Bottom um, Athletic Wear. They have leggings, they have shorts, um, and the inseams vary all the way from 2.5 inch seam, which is those, they call those shorties. And then they also have a five inch inseam so the inseam is not how long the shorts are. The inseam um, is right here, basically. How how far down from here do they go? So it's a 2.5 inch inseam. I have not tried them on yet. I said I was gonna do an Instagram story, but then I was sick and I was just kind of like, you know what? I don't feel like it. So I didn't. Um, let's talk about going live really quickly. Um, I'm gonna... I think I'm going to go live this Saturday. Uh, if not, you will know in advance so you don't come to my channel waiting for a live when there isn't going to be one. Um, last week I had gone through um, a situation where I was asking somebody and then they weren't able to do it last minute. So I asked somebody else and they were unable to do it. So finally, I, um, I, I kind of do this thing where when I can't go live, I make sure that somebody goes live instead of me and I give different people in the community an opportunity. And then once I've given, um, once, I, once I've given um, a certain number of people an opportunity, um, I go back to the start. It's usually my friends. Uh, so for new people, I typically like to have them as a guest first. I really like to do um, having people as a guest first and then um, I will, um, you know, cause it, it's like, I. I know that like not everyone watches every single one of my videos. I'm just going to try and talk louder while the AC is kind of like vibing over there. Uh, I know not everyone watches every single one of my videos, so I'm not like insinuating that um, anything there. But for me, I really like to introduce a person to my channel and my uh, subscribers. Not that, not that you're not already subscribed to other people. Like that's not what I'm saying either. But so for uh, Elizabeth, Elizabeth and I were on live together before I ended up giving her, um, letting her go live in my time slot. And then same thing for Chris. Chris was on my channel first. So it's not like 
I called up like a random person that has never, you know, been on my channel before and said, hey, can you fill in? Like even when Shay and um, Butter went live, they go live sometimes in my stead too. Um, they were on my live before as well. So I really like to um, introduce the person to my channel because here's here's the thing. I, I want to I want to trust you first. You know what I mean? And I trust my friends. Um, I don't want to I don't want to have somebody ask me and be like, hey, can I go live in your stead on Saturday? I would rather be the one offering it because I want to trust you because typically, what I do is I make a community tab post so everyone's aware of who's in my time slot this week. Um, so I really, like, it's basically like me endorsing you. It's not like a shout out. Like, it's not like, hey, I was watching, uh, for example, uh, person A's video this week and I really liked it. It's not a shout out like that. It's like I'm literally telling people from my channel to go watch your channel instead of mine. Do you see what I mean? So I really want to trust the person who goes live in my spot. So I typically like to have them as a guest on my channel first because it makes me feel more comfortable um, when I announce that, hey, this person's going live in my spot, come check them out. Typically I'm in chat, so it's like, yes, I can't go live, but this person's in, you know, going live instead of me. And so I, I really just want to trust you. I wanna, you know, make sure that everything's going to be good there. Do you know what I mean? I don't know if that even made sense, but it made sense to me. So <laughs> that's that. Um, oh my goodness. I'm really struggling. So today is technically my only day off. Like technically I had off. Okay. So <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of confusing because it's considered that I had Monday off when I work an overnight on Sunday, but I don't actually consider it that way because when I work an overnight on Sunday, I'm technically at work from 10.30 to, you know, 11.59 p.m. on Sunday, and then um, from 12 a.m. until 6.30 a.m. on Monday. So I don't really count it as Monday as a day off. So technically, the only day off I have this week is Tuesday. Um, so that is today. So I'm trying to get everything done. You know what I hate? I hate when I work an overnight on Sunday and then I have to be back to work on Tuesday. That murders me because it's like, I don't even have a day off then at that point. Oh, that is killer. Oh my God, I don't even wanna think about doing that right now. Oh, because you need like a whole day to recover. And like, fortunately I was able to nap on Sunday before I went in to work. So it's not like, um, it's not like I didn't get any sleep. It's just that I didn't get what I would consider enough sleep. And then when I came home, um, I was kind of wired because the night, like I said, it was absolutely insane. Like my night was crazy. Um, everything that could go wrong went wrong in the entire hospital. So it's not like it was like, oh, a whole bunch of stuff happened to me. It was like the whole hospital was having issues. I mean, I think I need to refresh this. Ref ref <laughs> I need to refresh this wax. <laughs> my god I am a mess uh yeah so it was like the whole hospital was just kind of like not going well I guess so I wasn't like too bad I mean I was still kind of able to read for like maybe like 100 pages of a book that I brought with me and I had some snackies with me so it wasn't like my night wasn't bad it was just like a lot you know uh, so then when I came home, like I said, I wasn't really able to fall asleep because of how wild the night was. So I, um, kind of went to bed at like 8.30, maybe 9 a.m. And then I got a package at, I got this package at, uh, like 10:30, so we're talking about like two hours so then <laughs> by the time 8 30 rolled around i had all these plans i was like i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that i basically spent my entire day in bed watching tiktok which is not cute it is not cute tiktok is the biggest time suck i really think i need to delete the app um, but i do have a little bit of a following on tiktok not like not anything close to what i have on youtube i have probably like 90 followers on tiktok but i i don't i don't want to delete it 
I just need to, I think, you know, I just spent, I spent a lot of time on, on Sunday and Monday on TikTok. So I just need to not do that. I just, I, I like, in the moment, it's all I wanted to do was lay in bed and TikTok and, and scroll through TikTok, but <laughs> like looking back, what did I do yesterday? Nothing. I did nothing. And that is not fun for me to have wasted a whole day. I just don't love that for me. So that really sucked. I Oh my God, I made this really good spaghetti sauce yesterday. It was crazy. Um, I was stressing about it all day. Just kind of like, oh my God, what am I going to make for dinner? And just kind of like, ugh, going through the motions of what am I going to do? And so I come up with this idea that I'm going to make... Uh, spaghetti because I found a can of uh, tomato sauce. So I grab a can of tomato sauce, a, a can of tomato paste, and then I just kind of went ham on spices. I put like tons of Italian seasoning in it, tons of, um, and uh, what is it called? Paprika. And here's where it got kind of fun. I put some red pepper chili flakes and chili powder in it, and uh, it was really good for like a last minute sauce it was so good like I say last minute like I threw it all together but like it was on the stove for like two hours but that's kind of how you have to do pasta if it's jarred that's one thing like if it's a can like you're actually making tomato sauce from scratch it's definitely necessary that it sits there for a while so it can and that's the thing is like it has to get rid of that canned flavor so when you open up a jar it doesn't have that tinny flavor the way that a can does. So you kind of got to, you know, alter the flavor, get rid of the can. That's why it, like, basically I'm convinced that like Chef Boyardee and stuff like that doesn't add much seasoning to their sauce because it tastes like can. But then again, you know it's coming out of a can so I guess what do you expect it just like at first when you open up a can of tomato sauce it just tastes like can so that's what happened yesterday and it was really really good I think I want to have some of that either for lunch today or bring it for lunch tomorrow it was so good um let's see I've been working out um when I was sick I had to stop and then once you stop it's really hard to get back into it but I worked out yesterday for half an hour and my legs are like feeling it like it, they felt my legs felt it immediately like it wasn't like a delayed situation it wasn't uh doms and for those of you who don't know what doms is doms is delayed onset muscle soreness uh it wasn't delayed it was instant <laughs> So it was, uh, yeah. And then I think I might have done something to my neck area yesterday as well. Um, either that or I slept wrong because the, uh, the tendon or the muscle that goes from uh, the left side of my neck into my shoulder is super sore. And I don't know why. I think, I mean, it's, I probably did something to it. Like, I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, I don't know why. But, like, I don't know why, you know? So... I think I need to refresh this wax. So let's do that. I'm also like, I'm when I tell you, I am just doing all of the things today. I am just doing all of the things today. I have a list of like eight videos I have to film. I have um, a list of uh, eight things I want to clean. And I also want to take some strides in my personal life. Um, and I want to work out and it's just like I have so much that I want to do and um, I definitely wanted to start by filming this video I did film something else before but I wanted to film this video for sure at first because lately um, it used to be super quick to upload a video on my phone but now it just wants to take forever so um, because it wants to take forever I have to let it have that time to take forever so I will probably, once I finish with this, I will plug my phone in and I will um, go back to filming on my camera. The reason I'm filming on my phone is because I want to get it up today and that is the best possibility. 
is to get it up today is to uh, film it on my phone. And especially if I have no takes, like no, uh, no cutting. If I have no breaks in between, if I just film it straight so I don't have multiple clips to compile, ideally it will uh, go by faster. Uh, I don't know if it's uh, like the, the editing process and the rendering process because I'm not gonna edit this video at all. It's just gonna be straight talk. Remember straight talk? That was a thing. Um, I also want to talk about some things in the community that have been irritating me, um, specifically negativity. Um, I have mentioned it last week about uh, the Skizzers versus uh, Knife thing. I'm not going to talk about that anymore. I'm just going to continue to do what I want because that's what I want to do is do what I want. Um, but like really like if you don't have anything nice to say don't say anything I addressed it last week kind of but I feel like it needs to be said again like you don't understand when you write a negative comment to us it helps us you're telling YouTube that this comment is worth engaging or this video is worth engaging with therefore it helps us it actually boosts us and puts us um, you know furthers our possibility of getting seen by others it basically the algorithm picks us up when you comment whether it's positive or negative when you thumbs up or thumbs down youtube sees that as engagement we get picked up in the algorithm and we get recommended to more people so if you hate us that much just don't engage at all um also like i don't mind it like i don't care one way or another honestly if you want to write negative comments that's cute um doesn't bother me but it really like I'm gonna be honest with you it really pisses me off when I go on to my friends videos and I see negative shit on my friends videos that really pisses me off um for me I don't care one way or another you can say whatever you want to me tell me I'm 43 when I'm 27 tell me I need to grow up ma'am I am grown I don't care but when I go on to my friends videos and I see some stupid negative shit there that really, really pisses me off next level. And like, I try to ignore it because when I sit there and I engage back, it's feeding into that person too. So that person is getting the excitement of, you know, ooh, somebody responded to my negative comment and I definitely don't want to give them any more attention um, than they already receive from, you know, just writing that comment. Um, engaging is something I, I typically try not to do. But like when you're just a foul person, like you, I also, you know, because I am a creator, I don't want to get a reputation for sticking my nose where it doesn't belong. But I'm going to tell you right now that when you are rude to my friends, you might get a comment from me because that is just not right, dude. Like, honestly, like, I don't know, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's like, you know, once again, the person is totally fine. Like, it's not like the person who got the negative comment was like you know butthurt about it but it pissed me off because um the comment was rude so my friend was like you know just you know something smart assy back and then the person said um called her a name which i mean i don't really care one way or another call me what you want i don't really care and i know the person doesn't care either but like that, that was just like there was no reason for that like like I wanted to swear at that person but I didn't I kept my cool I kept calm and it was fine but it still pissed me off so in the future just don't be a horrible person how about we just don't how about you just don't how about everyone just don't I don't know if that's all gonna fit there because it's all um might be a little crowded over there. I might have to take those out, but for now it'll be fine. I like how I poured all those colors out and I'm getting ready to stop filming because I have to go switch the laundry over. That's so cute of me. Maybe I can get through a little bit. And then what, <laughs> after I do this, I gotta clean this up because I gotta use this table for something else. So I spent, I spent however long pouring those colors out and for no reason. Like I haven't even touched a second color yet. Oops. Oh well, it's fine. I at least showed you how I work with multiple colors at one time. Um, this is my preferred method, so. 
Um, and then as far as what I want to do this uh, Saturday for live, if I am able to go live, I will, like I said, let you know. And then uh, I might have a special guest. It depends. If I'm able to go live, I'm probably going to have a special guest. If I'm not, then I won't. Um, I really don't like to, because if you know, if you've been around for a while, you know that um, even when I'm able to go live, I end up leaving work to go live. And then if my coworker is late in relieving me, if I have to stay late for any type of reason like that, then, you know, something like that can occur. And I don't like to waste my guests time. So if you're ever wondering, well, she said she might have a special guest. That's why. I do not like to um, promise my guest an hour and a half and give them half an hour, you know? It's just something I don't like to do. Um, let's talk about Diamond Art Club last week. They had six up. They had six for um, new releases. Did anybody get anything? I did. I got it something I don't want to tell you what it was it will be here when it gets here and probably based on that you already know what it is but if not that is okay too so I have um what do I have I have a plan to do some planning <laughs> this is redundant I want to plan uh, for June. I know we're already into basically the second week of June right now, um, but I do want to do my planner because I did start a new uh, upload schedule, which uh, thank you guys so much for your support on that. I really appreciate you. Um, you have no idea how much it means to have the support of you just saying like, hey, whatever works for you, like you, you have to do what works for you. Like, so I really appreciate that. Like, you have no idea because I have been stressing with that schedule since I, okay, so when I first started diamond painting or when I first started YouTube, I was posting almost every day and then I switched to every day. And then when I started my book channel, I went down to every like three to five times a week posting. And um, then I started uh, doing special vlogs for members and Patreons. So it got to the point where I was uploading two and three videos a day and so it just wasn't working for me anymore and I dealt with that for months. Like, I think like four months I dealt with posting a crazy, crazy ton on one single day. And I like, I really just cannot tell you how much it means to me that you all were just so do what works for you and I really like you can't even understand how much how much that means to me so thank you guys so very much thank you so much um that is that is that that is a uh, my sappy for the day um let's see uh my posting schedule if you didn't know if this is your first time on my channel or if you did not watch last week's whip and chat uh basically i have moved this schedule around to work best for me um so that i could accommodate you know the other the channel and then the vlog so that i wasn't posting um three videos a day i do technically technically i still post a video every day um, except for Wednesday, sometimes I do a Wednesday video, sometimes I don't. So basically what you can look forward to for me here is a whip and chat on Tuesday. On Thursday, I will have a unboxing. On Friday, I will have a whatever. No, I lie. I lied to you. On Tuesday will be a whip and chat. On, uh, Friday is an unboxing unless I have something on Wednesday nothing on Thursday unless I have something that needs to go up on Thursday and then on Saturday I go live and then Sunday is when I post um the exclusive stress depressed and not well dressed uh vlog so basically on this channel there will be three to five videos or three to yeah three to five videos a week still but it's changed days and um, 
usually more towards three. Um, I will post, like if I, if I don't end up going live, sometimes I'll post on Saturday or Sunday just if I have an extra video that, you know, kind of should go up at some point. Um, I'm also still looking at taking a break, but right now I don't feel that I need one. So um, I might just wait until July. I might force myself to take a break though, because I notice that I feel more strain during an event. And that's when I want to take a break is like when I'm in the middle of hosting an event or helping to host an event, that is typically when I feel the most strain. So I definitely want to um, take a break sometime before August because we're doing a DP Summer Sky. Jenny and I are bringing back DP Summer Sky, the event that started it all. <laughs> we're going to be bringing that back in August. So um, very excited for that. But I also want to make sure that I am not, uh, you know, putting too much on myself. So like I said, I'll probably have to force myself to take a break because, you know, sometimes that's what you gotta do is you gotta force it on yourself. And that's what I probably will do. I'll probably have to uh, because I don't want to burn out during an event. I really like to, I really like to thrive in events. I'm so excited though for this particular painting because honestly, once this like once her face is done and once this next row with her skin tone is done it's all color blocking from there like there's almost no confetti at all so and not that this is confetti but you know this is more time consuming to have like three or four colors in the same area than it is for like there to be like five colors in the whole you know area that you're working on total so this one should uh, fly by and then I do have plans to start Galaxy Cat for Snacks with Friends, which is hosted by Jenny and Yureli, Jenny being the uncrafty crafter, of course. Uh, and then I'm still trying to find my gypsy horse if I can, it's in my closet and it's, my closet just got organized, I think like maybe two months ago and I'm really not really really not interested in tearing my entire closet down to find one specific painting uh, so I'm not going to <laughs> uh, so if I can find it if I can locate it I will uh, try and participate in Shay and Mindy's event um, that one is the uh, Sheena Pike event I don't actually know the hashtag for that I'm sorry um, and I'm currently filming on my phone, otherwise I would Google it, or not Google it, I would look it up. Um, so yeah. So let's go back to my to-do list really quickly. I want to tell you what I have planned for today. Um, destruction, that's what I have planned for today. My uh, tube that houses this one when I take it to and from work just fell. My to-do list is across the room, so I can't tell you everything that's on it, but I do want to get a couple post reviews filmed today. I am pretty bad at posting post reviews. Um, just because I usually wait until I have two to film and then I film them, you know, at the same time um, because I don't really love to go outside. So I film um, them all at once, basically. And then I do it like that. Like, I think last time I had like five post reviews I was filming on the same day. It was crazy. Um, but I do still have, I think, two post reviews that I haven't even put up yet. So you'll probably get one of those on Sunday, to be honest, just so I can, you know, get content that is older out so that I can get the but see the thing is is that the content that I put up is usually time sensitive like for example um, tomorrow you can look forward to an unboxing from a uh, company that I am going to be an affiliate for uh, so I want to get that out as soon as possible whereas um, things like I have several paintings that I could unbox and that I already have unboxed, but it just ends up being time sensitive that I get a certain unboxing out on a certain day. Like for example, new releases. I always try and get the new releases filmed as soon as possible, just because more people are checking for it around that time than for example, three weeks later. Um, I just dropped a tray cover. Uh, so I try and keep 
the time sensitive stuff up. And like, I have this unboxing that has been filmed and then I finally edited it. Edited, edited, edited. I edited it and um, I wanna put it up, but then every single time I go to put it up, something time sensitive comes up. Like I was gonna put it up on Friday, but then I had to unbox um, my uh, symphony. So I had to unbox that. And then I was going to put it up on Wednesday, but then the company that I am an affiliate for finally got back to me with my uh, code information so that I can make sure that I include it. Um, so then that one took precedence. So I might just upload I don't, I don't really want to upload two in the same day. Like that's the thing is I don't want to upload two videos on the same day, um, on the same channel. Like it'd be one thing if for example, I filmed, um, or I was uploading something on Thursday on my book channel, which is a upload day for there. And then I also put up a something, but then I don't want to waste content either. Um, like I don't want to have seven videos this week only to find out that I only have two for next week. You know what I mean? It's a balance. It's all a balance, which is why I want to plan because if I can just, so I have two videos. I really, really, really want to get up. Um, so I kind of, I got to do, I don't know. I got to edit one of them because I think, I think one of them isn't edited but the other one is so I can put that one up first which needs to go up first anyway because I've had it the longest Ugh, it's just a balance and I feel bad because it's actually a gift um and it just hasn't gone up and like when I was I, I wasn't okay so if I had thought about it in advance like if I had known I was gonna get sick <laughs> if I had known I was gonna get sick I would have edited it beforehand so that you know y'all could have had filler content while I was sick um but I didn't know I was gonna get sick and then, you know, time sensitive stuff came up, but now it is officially edited. So I will more than likely put that one up on, see, I don't wanna put it up. Okay, so I'll probably put, I'll probably put it up on Sunday then because this week's content is, let me grab, no, I don't wanna, I don't wanna mess with that right now. I was going to say I could grab a piece of paper and start writing it down, but I really don't want to do that because that takes away time from diamond painting and I already have very limited time to diamond paint today anyway. Um, but this week's uh, posting schedule is going to be like uh, as follows. So Tuesday, today, the whip and chat. Wednesday is the unboxing for the company that I am now an affiliate for. And... Um, Thursday will be, uh, I'm, I think I'm going to put up a post review on Thursday just so I can get the post reviews rolling out so that now that I have, I have two in queue and I have two more that I'm going to film or hoping, hoping to film today. I'm not going to hold myself to that because that's the least time sensitive of all of it. I have to film for the unboxing for the affiliate company. And I also want to film a planning video. So hopefully the planning video can go up on some some point as well see now it makes me wonder if i should put the planning video up on thursday and hold the post review till next week that's probably what i'll do so planning video i'm hoping to get up on thursday now and then on friday i'll probably have um another unboxing and that'll probably be when the gift goes up um because my I think a diamond art club painting is supposed to arrive on Friday, which means I can film it, upload it, and edit it for Saturday. So that can go up. And then on Sunday, I will do, um, maybe Sunday is when I'll do a post review. Or maybe Friday or Sunday. I don't know. See, things just get so confused and hectic. And like, I could have posted something yesterday, but... I didn't because I posted on my book channel. Like I'm trying to, trying to prioritize taking breaks. And like, if I have 15 videos already pre-filmed and everything, then, you know, it just kind of gets hectic when time sensitive stuff comes up, you know, all this to say, I am not the greatest at prioritizing videos that are older. A lot of the videos that I have already filmed are older because time sensitive stuff takes priority. 
However, my alarm is getting ready to go off, which is gonna cut this into two, and I don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna end it here. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like me and would like to see more from me, please hit subscribe. I would be so happy to have you. All right, I hope that you are being safe. Wash your hands, taking care of yourselves. Bye, guys.